BJ Card is our returning champion, and he has won two games and five thousand nine hundred dollars. And we have our challenger, Steve Man K, 1987, who is going to try to take his championship away. Who will win and get a chance at $32,000? Well, you have to find out as we play. Excuse, <coughs> as we play, Car Sharks. All right, guys, welcome to the Car Sharks Showdown on the Rodney1279 channel. We have our two uh, Car Sharkers vying for a chance at winning $32,000 in the money cards game. Uh, how y'all guys doing this evening? Good. Very good. All right, and uh, I, I'm assuming the both of you are ready, so we're going to get right into this game. Y'all know how to play this game, so we're going to get started right now. First question always goes to the champion, and I wish the both of you good luck, and here we go. Brett, this is a long question, so bear with me. All right, All right Brett, the U.S. Constitution states that a person is eligible to be elected president when he reaches the age of 35. So we surveyed 100 men over the age of 65 and we asked them, do you think a 35-year-old is too young to be president? How many senior citizen men said a 35-year-old is too young to be president? Well, um, there's, a, there's a lot of presidents I know who are older than 35, but if the Constitution says that it should be... Um, 35, if the minimum age should be 35, then people should respect that. So, but there are some people who disapprove of that. So, I'm going to say that's about a middle number. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 53. Going with 53. All right, Steve, is it higher or lower than 53? Well, I think that um, 35 is, is, is a good age to be president. I mean, it, it might be a little a little bit of a young age, and I know there were a lot of young presidents in the time, like John F. Kennedy and the others. So I don't really know how, many, how old he was, so I'm just going to say um, what he said. I, I'm going to say it's uh, lower. Going with lower, okay. If it is lower, Steve, you'll play your cards. If not, it goes to Brett. The actual number of senior citizens that said that 35 years old is too young to be president is it is 50. It is lower, Steve. Good job. All right. So you'll play your cards. Here's your opening card. Your opening card is a six. Change it. All right. When you win the question, you can change your base card. The six becomes an eight. Seven plus one. Lower. Lower than the eight. It's a seven. Um, I'll go lower again. Going for it. Lower than a seven. Oh, no, it's a king. So, Brett, you get a free chance at the cards. Brett, you got a two. Higher than a two. Higher than a two. It's an eight. Seven plus one. Higher. He's going for it. Higher than the eight. Oh, no, it's a two. <sighs> So we're going to reset the cards. And I should say to the YouTube audience at home, it's the first to win two games that go to the money cards. We pay $500 for each game that is won. All right, and we'll go to question number two. And the next question goes to uh, Steve. Steve, we surveyed 100 people, and we asked them, have you ever told someone the check is in the mail when it really wasn't? How many people admit they have lied and said the check is in the mail? Well, I have never lied about something like that before. I mean, I have lied many times before, and I'm not really sure. I'm going to say... 
I'm going to say uh, 30. Going with 30. All right, Brett, is it higher or lower than 30? Well, I've heard people say that phrase before, and some of them have lied. Uh, um, I'm going to say higher than 30. Going with higher than 30. Okay. Let's check it out. The actual number of people who have lied and said that the check is in the mail is. It is 50. It is higher. Good job, Brett. Thanks. All right, Brett, you got the two. What do you want to do with it? I'm going to keep the two, and I'm going to go higher. Higher than the two. It's a king. Lower than the king. Lower than the king. It's a five. Higher than the five. Going for it. Higher than the five. Oh, no, it's a three. So you lose all your cards. Um, Steve, free chance, but you have to play off the eight. Seven plus one. Lower. Lower than the eight. It's a king, Steve. I'm sorry. So we're making no progress. We're going to reset the cards. Yes. The next question goes to you, Brett. And here's your question. I'm ready. We surveyed 110-year-old boys, and we asked them, when you grow up, would you like to be just like your father? How many 10-year-old boys would like to grow up to be just like their father? Well, um, there's a lot of kids I know who say that they want to be just like their parents when they grow up, and... Not all of them have, so once again, I'm going to say it's a middle number. I'm going to say 50. Seven. 57 out of 110 year old boys who said they want to be exactly like their father. High or low to 57, uh, Steve? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, um, when, I, when I was growing up, I mean, I wanted to, to be like my grandfather because my grandfather was a, is a pharmacist and my father was not a very good person. I'm sorry to say that. And oh, sorry about that. Okay. And, and I'm going to say 57 is a very good guess what Brett said and I'm going to say, wow, I'm going to say lower. Going lower than 57. All right, let's check out what the people say. The actual number of 10-year-old boys who said they like to grow up to be just like their father is. It is 66. It is not lower. It is higher. So, Brett gets it. All right, Brett, you still got the two. Higher. Higher than a two. It's a 10. I'm going to freeze. Freezing on the 10, keeping um, Steve away from his cards. And this is the fourth and final question. Somebody has to win this play of the card, so control is critical. And this question goes to you, Steve. All right. We surveyed 100 men, and we asked them, is there a shirt you still wear that is over 10 years old? How many men said they still wear a shirt that is over 10 years old? Well, I have a lot of shirts in my collection, and none of them are over 10 years old because I've got big over the years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to say that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, you know, I, might, I do have some shirts that are over 10 years old, but I really don't fit into them anymore. So for those men that uh, I'm going to say um, 47, 47. Going with 47. High or lower than 47, Brett? Well, I don't know a lot of people who have shirts um, that are 10 years old or more. So I'm going to say it's going to be lower. Lower than 47. Okay. This is very critical right here. Let's check it out. The actual number of men who said that they still wear a shirt that is over 10 years old is... It is 39. It is lower. Good job, Brett. Thanks. All right, here's the situation, Brett. You got a 10, and you have the power to change that 10 if you want to, 
but you have three cards to go in order to win this first game. Steve got an eight. He does not have the power to change that eight, seven plus one, and he got four cards to go. What's your decision? Do you want to play the cards yourself or pass it to Steve? All right, Steve, you must be right on every card in order to win it. If you make one mistake, Brett wins the first game. Go ahead and call it on the eight. Higher or lower than eight? Lower. Lower than the eight. Oh, no, it's the ace, and Brett has won the first game. Hi, Brett, you have won the first game of $500, and we're going to take a short commercial break. And when we come back, we'll do round number two of Card Shark. Stay tuned.